So one thing I will say before I change the song. Uh, there we go. So I see, all right, never mind. <clears throat> so, hope you all enjoy this adventure. Hope you all enjoy this crusade. And I hope you guys will have fun. The roleplay, the content I push out, and also, well, the awesomeness that I provide. But not only that, the bro love here in the stream and the community is important. You guys who will spectate and lurk, and listen and watch with bated breath. I'll do my best to perform for all of you. But this is what it is The Crusade. A homemade brood adventure by yours truly, using the 5th edition module. There are many ways to play DD. This is mine. This is my cult. The story that I help will weave and create along with the players. And now. And now. You will get to see the journey. So. The game started way, way before, but right now. Here's what the story is thus far Biddlesworth, a treasure goblin butler of, of Fendral, is in distress. They are trying to cure him. He is turned to stone. Because Fendral was near death. And at this current moment, they also managed to procure a magic carpet. Several magic items, even one that's sentient, has a mind of its own. There's also the journey to, as you can see on the map here, the far sun, but it's blocked off by an ice wall. There's also the city that they're currently in Egerson, which was besieged. There's also the mainstay of their home near Salarina, where they own a mansion. And Salarina is a port city they had started. So let's see how this goes. Again, much bow love. If you guys enjoy the show. All right. So do as you wish. Whole new world. All right. Here we go. And yes, roll twenty. Roll twenty dot net. Free thing to use. Okay, gentlemen, are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, you're ready. All right, that's good. <coughs> Except the act I was on mute or muted right now. And don't forget to change your volume so you don't pop your ears now. Pause. I want. I want to be deaf. You want to be deaf? <laughs> I want okay, to be the deaf rogue. So there's many tools that I can use this, by the way. Pop out chat. No, there's no pop out chat for Roll Twenty. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Like that's why I was trying to look, look it out. Like there is nothing for me uh, on that at all. Pause. Mm -hmm. There's really like I don't even know how to even pop it out. Get the little cogwheel thing. It's like right under the colors. Under colors. Mm -hmm. What colors? Use window. Pop outs for characters. What? Hold oh, on. For one. one. Yeah, you hit the cogwheel. Okay. Underneath the, the chat options, it says colors and then timestamp side chat pop out. Enable timestamp. What? Yes. Uh, okay. Does it not for you? Okay, well, I, I entered it, so I have no idea what the hell that does. <coughs> okay, I have no idea what the hell that does. Okay. Oh, the fucking pop out for your. Oh, never mind. I was talking about <laughs> the other thing. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah, I already have it up now. It's okay. I already got oh, it prepared, so it's, it's fine. It. It, it's 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 nope. done. It's easy. I mean, it's not that it. bad, it doesn't look too bad. Alright, well, the better point is to probably get this game started, actually. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see... Okay. Oh, no, I'm trying to find it. Cadet. Alright. So far, you managed to save Jesus' Apprentice, who is a uh, builder. It seems like a very good addition towards your mansion, possibly fortifying it. Currently at the moment, 
you have some unfinished business. There's still some things to do around the forest. Um, Damascus is still trying to repair Eager Sun. And there's some parts of town that may be under siege. Possibly. But right, no worry, awesome. Take it easy. Um, at this point, though, Damascus is still scouting around trying to repair the city. The Jesus is still at work. The half dragon uh, gunslinger. Though your journey has led you this far, you have lost, well, they suppose the allied Nif who was beheaded by Grok out of great rage. Not only that, Fentor's life was at stake as well. But due to the sacrifice of Biddlesworth, he managed to live. But throughout this whole action, the party forgot one thing. What is going on in Salarino? And they haven't been home for a long time. So, will they stay around the city, or will they go back to Salerno with no cure to uh, Biddlesworth yet in sight? All right, uh, we start off with basically. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone's awake, and you guys mm -hmm. are pretty much at the breakfast table, eating and talking. Uh, at at Julisha. So, go on ahead. Well. Not sure first what to do. Me being dumb right now. Attack down. Or cross. Uh, last I remember, I was uh, training, I think. Yeah, we were doing a bit of uh, training in the meantime. I was yeah. flirting with Builder. <laughs> 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 I was getting drunk and doing the same. Mm hmm. And well, um, y Yelena kind of like lightly responded to you, but she didn't seem too interested. Rejected. It's probably because you're white. <laughs> so there's that. Red man, chromatic dra dragon boys man. Uh, no, I, no, it's all about the green. As you guys are pretty much um um chatting about, uh, you you do notice that nearby, of course, like. At another table, uh, you, you definitely hear someone like who has an odd, uh, strange accent. And you hear them pipe up, Yer, the seas be daft. This be be a lot of rain and the storms. This is gonna be a tough one. Not yet, even the ice wall can't even get the Egerson through the great channel for Farson. This is gonna be a tough one, boys. You basically see like a bunch of like bandana wearing, leather wearing, like you know scoundrels. They got a few scimitars. Some got guns, but it's a it's a pirate crew. And the one talking is their Curious. captain. Curiously, I got up and asked, "What do you mean?" He, he turns and looks at you. He's like, "Yar, man, it's pretty simple. The ice wall blocks the whole place to Farson through the land and the sea. We can't really get to it. And that we don't really want to hit the Grix right now. And then, well, there's, well, there's the Admiral. Yar." What I see, the admiral. the admiral. Yeah, there's a captain, but the admiral's uh, pretty much like the one that leads them. Yeah. Yep. Is the admiral? Well, someone. The leader of a bunch of ships. Um, are you saying that in character? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, that's what I think. That's what an admiral is, about, right? Like you lead a bunch of ships. He goes, yeah, the Admiral leads us. We have a fleet. Many of a flotilla. Oh. But... Fleet of pirate ships, that's insane. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I go up to the captain and show him a picture of a noble dark elf and ask him, have you seen this elf before? Yeah, you bloody elves look the same to me. We be on the sea. <laughs> ah, racism. <laughs> racism. Ha! <laughs> It's a dark elf. You don't see many of those above surface now, do you? Especially a noble. Yeah, you blasted wench. We be on the sea. Knuckles. Yes. Your mic. Is you can there? hear everything. We heard everything so yeah. far. Yeah. All right. Does anyone else want to say anything else to him? He's looking at you guys like to and fro. No, I just walk away, sit back down. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
He takes it. Like, if, if he needs help uh, crossing up the ears. And... He looks at you and says, Nah, matey. We're gonna probably be making our way to Grix at this point. Grix? The island of Grix, way down south. Salarino and Igusun. I hear there'd be a lot of treasure over there, but also some action. Ooh, treasure and action. Well, now I'm intrigued. As you say that, he'd be just like, Oh, hey, mateys, looks like we we got someone over at the table that knows what's it about. And then they, they basically, you know, they go like, oh, you know, they're really pretty much you know, sharing like your, uh, your enthusiasm for treasuring and glory and combat. <laughs> this treasure you speak of, like gold coins or artifacts? Yeah, we don't even know. That's all the animals had. The thing about our armor, well, you ain't normal. What do you mean? Some say he's lived for maybe a thousand years. We have never seen his face. Never seen his face? He's what? He's your admiral and you've never seen his face. <laughs> he was admiral before I came up under as a youngin. All he does is wear complete armor. No one's seen his face. Wait a second. But maybe, maybe his assistant might have seen his face. Maybe he is the armor. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't it, is his I'm not assistant? sure about the armor there, matey, but who knows. He wields great power that we have never seen before, and well, whenever we get stuck in a jam of a storm, he can move the storm away and pave the winds. Sounds like a sorcerer. Or a druid. Or a monk. <laughs> or a rogue. Definitely rogue. He, he, look, he looks at the whole lot of you, but like he mainly focuses on Fendrell. Yeah, are you be willing to swords and daggers, matey? Yeah, I'm leaning more towards daggers, but I dabble in swords. You come along with us to Grix. We can teach you the ways of a swashbuckler. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh god, yes. I asked them what's their admiral's name, if they know it by chance. Your loss. He just says to everyone to call him the Admiral. He will not ever say his bloody name. Well, that's a shame. We know a person that's all covered in armor and doesn't show his face. Who? The guy that now is in charge of Salarino. He, took off he his shows helmet. his face. His face is just more metal. Is it? No, I've never hit. Oh seen no, you said Salarino. I'm sorry, I thought you was someone. Yeah. Who are you talking about? The guy who helped take up, helped take over Salarino for. Oh yeah, that guy did it. Did I? I just uh -huh. he took off his helmet at some point. Yeah. But maybe not. No, he never did. Okay. What? And the character that is being referred to as Titus Bloodscar, who is in control of what's called the Bloodfist Company. And, of course, you guys, the party, helped assassinate the old leader of Salarino so that he could take it over. Yeah, fuck that guy. Talking shit about monks. Fuck that guy. No, I like that guy. <laughs> the pirate looks at you guys as you, like, interchange a uh, dialogue and is like, So, you all aboard then, or? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, honestly, because there's shit happening in Agerson. Still, like, cultists. And oh, really? There is a. Uh, for now. The only thing, problem we probably left there is the owlbears, but. Oh. Plus, there was that asshole in the mask. And I want to chase his ice ass wall. down. He's probably past the ice wall, my friend. I am. Is, when are you guys. When are you I guys leaving for, uh, Brox? Great. You wanna repeat that? I think that was confused everyone. I wanna ask Paris, when are you guys leaving to, uh, Grix? We don't know, mate. 
depends on the Admiral. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, or two weeks from now. Do you know where he is right now? He looks at his his crew, and they basically kind of like shake their heads and they like shrug. Uh, nowhere near, actually. Uh, maybe you find the assistant, which is a half-elven woman. Find her with the bloody hat and a parrot on her shoulder. But she may be following him. We were just told well to sit tight. The rest of our crew be scattered about doing the whole thing on shore leave. Alrighty, well, I guess we should go uh, talk to this assistant then. Uh, good to meet you, lads. Yer, we won a shizzing great battle and plunder and well, booty! I have to uh -huh. his name. Huh? I asked for his name to see, uh, just, you know, to have it. Yeah, and of course, as you as you look at him, you know, the, the clothes that he's wearing is basically, you know, plain blue leather, he's got like a black bandana, and he's got a scar on his left eye, and no eye patch, but uh, you see a few that may have it, but you see one like lift his eye patch and look at you, so he does an eyeball, so some of them just put it on for <laughs> fun. Like, me name be Christopher. An odd name of sorts, but um, I was once a noble's child. Well, then, well, me stepmom tried to get me killed so that her kids could well, get the fortune. But I killed the wench and then ran away. Ah. Sounds pleasant. Yeah, I was meant to be free, especially upon the open seas when I met the Admiral. Though you best be, uh, handle your business, and if you do want to go soon, I say just quickly. There have been signs of dragon turtles afoot, possibly a kraken. Dragon and turtles and yeah. And lo and behold, if we have to deal with a Hydra. Hydra's small fry. <laughs> Darrr. Uh, glit glitters up and say, a Hydra? Hydra, Dragon. these bloody seven headed beast. And the crack is well. A large squid of a bloody thing that you don't really want to cross. Oh. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna go ahead for looking for the assistant. Yeah, we should really look, we should really fight the owl bears as well. Those are gonna be a problem. Uh, that's a great. Well, what do you guys want to do as a group? Do you want to track down the assistant? Or do you want to go finish the owl bear job? Well, the owl bears. It's been like four days. So. How many days did we train? You guys trained about the uh, equivalent of three days, so yeah, it's about pretty much and four I've days. And I've been flirting with that girl for three days. What's my <laughs> <Yep>. progress? <laughs> uh, let's see. Roll me a d20. Let's see how lucky you are at the grill. Need to know how full your relationship oh, no. meter is. Um, she thinks you're kind of okay as a friend. That friend's oh, no. out. Correct. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that for all three days? Should I just roll for three days? No, that's for all three days, buddy. That's how lucky he oh, managed to get. Can I roll? God dang it. Why would you need to roll? Lesbian? Okay, you can give it a shot. I dare you. Do it. In before nap. Oh god. Wait, what? Huh. <laughs> a nap. She doesn't really di dig you either. Oh, wow. Can I get out? <laughs> that's right. Uh, I don't know, but she's pretty much more focused on work, and of course, like Jews has been like basically telling her like to get to work. They've been like putting out supplies and rebuilding Egerson. I can I can do this every time, right? Okay, cool. Maybe, <laughs> possibly. Every, every play session, I'm gonna ask. <laughs> I'm tempted to roll as well, just to see what I get. Oh no. Well, you're gonna have to do roll a uh, like a charisma. Do 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 do. Make a persuasion if you want to go and talk to her. So you want to go try and find her? Uh, no, I'm not gonna like track her down or anything. I was just thinking maybe I could have been like the strong, silent type that swiped her off her <laughs> Just <laughs> right out from under the other two. That would be so funny. Yeah, that would. All right, so it's either the owl bears or you try to track down his assistant. I'm going for the assistant. Yeah, I guess we can go. To the assistant. Alright, so one now. of you has to roll me investigation or survival. Pick one. 
and first one to do it, it's the one I'll take. Alright, so while traveling throughout Egerson, you manage to basically hear, you know, and also see like a few like uh, scoundrels basically, like they're on their knees, their hands behind their backs, and they're looking straight down. And you basically like just hear some crazy yelling and a squawking of a parrot. You go, Quack! along with like, uh. You bloody idiots! What did I tell you? We'll all be, be leaving soon, and you have to make bloody messes. And you have to make bets. We're here to get supplies and to train. If the Admiral were to see you, well, how would I know what to do? I never saved your hide! So she's basically reprimanding them for something they did. As you can tell. And you have to look like, we're sorry. I walk over, but I trip on a, uh, on a glass, like a bottle, awkwardly getting back up. <laughs> so much spaghetti. She, yeah. she pays no attention to, uh, you falling. She's pretty much just staring at the, the crewman. I'm gonna walk right up and grab her ass. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Wait. Okay, Wait. have fun with that. Uh, okay. As soon as you do that, she... Oh, actually, as soon as you um get near her, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Didn't mean to double click. That's okay. So, as you try to reach for her rear end, the parrot looks right at you, and just basically, it, it's hard, its head slightly enlarges, and it strings out, in a line, like his head floats off and it tries to like bite your hand, but you manage to pull back in time. And the head proceeds back into like the small body and it squawks like silently t uh, towards owner and, and she looks right at you. The fuck is that? <laughs> She's like, ah, my my beautiful baby boy, thank you. Mommy loves you. It's like, what can I do for you? You try to grab me bum, eh? It's gonna take a lot more than that, matey. And then she snaps her fingers. She's like, Boys, time to get ready for to eat. And they like they smile and they, they they get up and like they start grabbing the weapons and moving towards you. Okay, I uh, follow suit and brandish my weapons. Question: Am how I gonna have to be the voice of reason here? No. Can I ask? Can I ask? How hot is she? One to ten. Let's see, a nine. Okay, now go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, does anyone else want to do anything while this happens or what? Or do you guys want to like try to play things off? I mean, if Fender wants to be an idiot and get himself a beat down, I'm happy to watch. Same? You're supposed to help, we're a team, douchebag. <laughs> yeah, but you got them. yourself into this stupid situation and it's just Come funny. On. Come on, guys. I'm sorry, Shit. but no. You're on your own on this one. Yeah, I try and persuade um, <laughs> both um, Fendral and persuade. Well, you'll persuade the NPC. Them. As for persuading your party members, that's how they feel. So, as a player, because they control that aspect. So, because if they f do feel persuaded, so you're gonna have to say something dim. As for the NPC, roll persuasion. Probably got AS. Yep. Got A's and a says. Can I persuade uh, the pirate, uh, the assistant that uh, go get the assassin coming for him? Why would you no, want to do that? Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm a mole, not an assassin. That's terrible. So? So? You're an asshole. Do you want me dead or something? I don't want you dead. I just want to go get the. <laughs> Alright, so what you doing? Are you gonna go for that or what? No, I was joking. Alright. Uh, so, she, you're basically your plea kind of falls on deaf ears, and then from her scabbard, she pulls something. It looks like a blade for a moment, but through halfway, it looks like a huge squid tentacle, and it starts coming alive. Oh God, what? You're gonna get tentacle raped. That's what you get. That's what you get. And the group is pretty much slowly moving towards you now. There's about like, you know, six pretty big dudes. Uh, human, I dragonborn, warforged, have orc. Huh? I try to persuade him. Uh, 
way that we're friendly and we're looking for Roll it. The job. Okay. Okay. Wow, well, we're so good today. <laughs> Nobody can roll persuasion today. Again, it falls on deaf ears. Attack. But what? Oh no, oh, this is Grok. If he wants to, he can intervene. That's up to him. But he's not intervening because he's pretty much neutral at this. I'm just laughing my yeah. ass off right now, honestly. Well, I'm neutral, but I just want, I don't You're want chaotic to neutral. Ordered, you know? <laughs> um, hold on, let me roll and see what happens. Who's closest to me? The chick, I'm assuming? Yeah, but the other crew members are pretty much, uh, pushing you now. Why? Would you want to do something? Who's to me. Okay. As that ha as that happens, you basically see like some paladins and clerics like come to try to stop you guys, and you know you hear a, a voice go, and it's definitely the man. He goes like, "What is going on here?" Yeah, he's looking like between both parties, and the pirate just basically like you know like licks away and snaps her fingers, and then the other fellows like lick at you, and then he just kind of follows her suit. And basically looks at Damascus. She pays no attention and she basically says to Damascus, We are about to be ready to leave anyway, Paladin. You don't have to worry about that. Just a little... She looks right by Fendrel. Just a little scuffle is all. And Damascus basically says, I wish to promote order in this city. Nothing else. If you wish to fight, take it outside the city. Mm. Okay. But then, of course, like, uh, he looks over at F uh, Fendrel, Damascus says, And you lot, don't you have work to do? And of course, uh, as you leave, uh, let's see, Fendrel's the closest, so roll me a perception. Do we have work to do? I mean... You basically hear uh, a little tidbit of what um, the, the assistant pirate says, uh... The Emerald will be here soon enough, otherwise we'll go meet up with him to go to Grix. So that's what you can hear about her talking to the crew. But uh Damascus hears you hears you going and says like, um what about that owl no, bear or the asking, cave? I was asking out of character because I can't remember what the hell <laughs> happened last time. Well, you remember he did ask you about to investigate a cave or, you know, check out some owl bears. Right, there's a cave too, okay. Yep. And who here has watched uh, Doctor Who, by the way? Any of you guys? And oh. thank you guys for staying around for the D&D. Much brother. I appreciate it. I don't know. I pretty much boxed that, right? Yep. You messed up hard. Alright. I guess it's time to go to that uh, owl bear thing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, we can still talk to them and try and uh, get passage. It's just that uh, the girl there is going to hate your guts. Yeah, good thing, right? I mean, come on. It's not like everybody can like me. <laughs> well, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys leave the way because she hates me. <laughs> So are you guys trying to uh, like pursue the pirates and try to talk to her again, or yes. work on a job for Damascus, or what? What do you guys want to do? Try um, to get it over with? I don't know, honestly, I haven't decided really whether I want to go to Grix or not, because there's still... Like, I still don't know what the hell is going on with the uh, masked guy in this area. And I'm assuming it's attached to the cultists in some way. We can go to that cave. That cave looked uh, interesting. It's up to you guys. Alright, let's it's just... Okay. Let's roll for... Two uh, votes for the cave. Both go cave cat and Zempa says the cave. We're gonna roll the 20. Higher we go to the cave, lower we go to the outbears. Alright, let's do it. Okay, Albers. Or, what the? Well, Fenja, you're the one who said it, so it's higher. Yeah. Okay, we're going to cave. Okay. Do we want to just like go talk to the uh, admiral or whatever first, or do we want to just? That's what not I was kind of suggesting. Suggesting. But uh. You all right? So Grok, do you want to try and find the admiral? 
I mean, I suppose I could just follow after the uh, woman and apologize for my idiot friend. You can't <laughs> call me an idiot. I'm pretty fucking <laughs> and then smart. Tell her. I have 19 <laughs> intelligence, sir. <there. laughs> yeah. But are you wise? Yeah, that, intelligence that, and wisdom yeah. are two different things. <laughs> exactly. Alright. I know, I know, I know. Um, so, you want to go up and try to talk to her? Yeah, basically just go up and say, uh, sorry about my, uh, idiot friend. He tends to act without thinking sometimes. As you get close, the the group around her basically, like, kind of stops and bars your way, and she, like, makes her way through, pushing him to the side. And you're like, oh, at least there's one that has bloody manners. You're like, you could take on a few of me boys here. Name's Cassandra. And you? Grok. Grok, eh? Hmm. What business do you have of me, besides apologizing? <laughs> we, uh, we were thinking of, uh, seeing if we could get a ride down on to Grix with you. you a lot, since we heard that you were going that way. To Grix? I see some of my boys be... Up in a tavern then with you, eh? Yep. I'll mention it to the Admiral. I have no idea where he's at the moment. I think he's got to see an old friend, I think. Is there anything else? She looks at you, oh. tapping her feet. And oh. like, the parrot looks at you and he's like... It's a weird looking parrot. It's not normal. You definitely know that. Yeah. So uh she said uh she said that she would just go talk to the admiral, right? Yes. Alright, well that works for me. We can go do stuff while she talks to him. So I guess I'll just ask uh for her to get in contact with us at the uh place we're staying once she's talked to him. Make a persuasion roll. Uh, where's my character sheet? Oh god, Tom, that's attacking. Why do you have to be so lewd? Hope you guys are enjoying persuasion. the show. But D&D can be a bit facial here and there at times. Jesus. Alright. So, um, she nods her head. It's like, fine, fine. You put a good point. It's always good to have some more hands. Besides, we don't even know what we may encounter in the sea. So she turns to leave with her retinue in tow. Alright, I give her a nod and uh, we shall be on our way. Alright, cool. Fucking making the barbarian be the fucking pragmatic one. Dude, I touched your, I tried People to touch your butt. People are ridiculous. How am I gonna come back? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure you're gonna come somewhere from touching your butt. <laughs> Bubba. In my pants. <laughs> you. Exactly what Bubba said. <laughs> Perfect. Do it, man. You got this. The flag okay. has strong. You can do it. So now we're going to, uh. Did you wanna refill on any supplies or anything or talk to Jews or Damasius before you guys do go? We need potions. So oh, I yeah, walk we over. Are here. Probably need potions. No, I, yeah, probably. I thought we still had one big one, and I still have my little one left. I don't have any. <laughs> you have a little one. Eh, heh 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 heh. I also yeah, want to talk to Juzo. Alright, so you guys basically want to go and try and get some supplies then from Juzo? And Fenjal wants to talk yeah. to Juzo. Alright, so. Yeah, flirt with a girl. <laughs> well, she's not around for you though right now. Actually, she's gone to go work. Yeah, all right, so, all right, you go to see uh, Jesus, who's basically hammering at an anvil. He's looking through a few guns and weapons. And he's just t talking and yelling to some people that you know that he's doing business with, putting supplies around the city. And then, uh, let's see, you managed to basically hear him say, "I can't believe." That he's here. Funny how that works. And then he looks at you as you approach, like, Ah, Finjal. 
Not gonna help you. He looks at the rest of the party. And you lot. <laughs> Volvo. Like you lot. So rude. <laughs> I'd like him to uh, check on making uh, my dagger, my throwing daggers, into um, dag throwing daggers with like guns, in them, like one shot guns. He basically looks at you and he quirks an eyebrow. That's a special commission, but I'm pretty sure you're looking at something like this. He reaches under, he pulls out a dagger, he tosses it, but before he tosses it, you hear it a click, and then it lands on the wall, and you hear BANG! The fuck? He says, oh, champ. and basically, it basically shot on contact. And then, like, he basically yells at any assistant to come, uh, grab it and pull it back to him. And you basically see him fiddle around and then reload another bullet, click it in, and he just puts it back where he put it. Oh, that's pretty neat. He looks at you like, you mean something like that? Do what? Something like that, right? Basically oh, absolutely. Like, exactly like that. He basically puts out his hand and says, do you have the money for that? I don't know. I want to find out if I do. Let's say... Well, for one, I don't really like to do such great fine craftsmanship on things that aren't magical. So that's a prerequisite. But for each kind of modification, that's at least a thousand gold. Damn. He, he looks to you, Grok, and he says, he says, like, hard work doesn't come cheap, my friend. And then he turns to look at Fendra again, and it's like, well... What do I have on me right now? 1500 gold. Alright. I look at the party and ask if I can use some of the gold from the loot. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, w I want to save that stuff up for, uh, for house upgrades and stuff. We have 5,635 gold. While, uh, negotiating, I, uh, opened my grimoire and beat it. Oh, while you guys are listening to the little go thing, uh, Zenpod, what did you say? I opened my book. Okay. Ooh. Yep. So, let's, let's settle on that go. So, what do you guys plan to do? I mean, this is basically discussing, uh, your pool of gold that you have at the moment. Uh, well, I'd rather save it so we can, uh, buy stuff for our house. True, and you have We're left it alone for now. Plenty of money. Like, we haven't spent, like, any money at all. I mean, we spent a bunch on the initial, like, road construction and stuff. Not even. And I'm deep. sure there's still... Not even close to that much gold. We spent, like, I'm sure there's still plenty gold. more we can buy. Can I at least get my dagger of venom? Upgraded to one of these. How much will that cost? A thousand gold. All right, so now you can't complain when one of us something like this, right? Well, I never do. <laughs> okay. I never have. It Just let him come up. He does like second most damage. Well, yeah, second most damage. So might as well give him something. Hmm. So it's all agreed. You can have it. like such a huge chunk of our money gone, but whatever. No one else cares. It's not that much. It, it is, but I guess in terms of su survivability, uh, I guess we're okay. What about yeah. this uh, weapon of warring mace plus one? A uh, warning, sorry. Someone misspelled it. Who has it's, it? Uh, it's the mace that, uh, uh, Kendra had. Uh, is he still here? Nope. No. What type of weapon is it? Is it a uh, martial? A mace. It's a morning star. Okay, so I can't use it. Without well. efficiency anyway. What's up, Narv? How's it going? Welcome I'm back. Warring mace. It's a warning. spelled it wrong. I don't know. Whoever put it in there. Alright, so um, are you guys doing the upgrade then? 
So that's what it is for his dagger. Yeah. I was gonna ask if uh, we could like like put that in like as a trade of like money. He will. All right. So basically, like you present him the item. Yeah. Ask him if he like take off some of the, the costs for that. All right. Uh, Juza looks at the item and is like, hmm. All right, I'll bump it down to two fifty. Yeah, that's better, right? Guys, come on. That's, that's pretty fine, actually. Yeah, go go yeah. ahead. Alright, so you make a transaction. Alright. I'll subtract yep. it. Okay. So he says he has a bunch of orders uh, already. Um, so before he can eat, do that kind of commission, it's going to be a little bit of a while before he can start working on uh, that weapon. That's fine. But if you want him to work on it now, you can basically uh, pay him extra gold if you want for him to work on it like right now to prepare mm -hmm. for it. Doing pretty good playing some D and D. Oh, did a bunch of troll from earlier, we're so there's that. Get to it before we leave. Um, as you said, that Grog says, "It only takes me a good, good hour or two, maybe three, depending." Oh well, that's all right then. I was wondering how long it would take. I asked him about the potions. Do you have any more left? I got a few. Takes a look. He says, "So he's, uh, he presents them like in his little uh, box." So he basically points at them, and you basically see like the same ones that uh, you were using. You know, um, the light, the light potions. Um, there's about like two left, and as for the more uh, uh, higher potion, the more medium one is about one left. How much were they again? Thirty-five and sixty-five. Yeah. I give them seventy for the lights. Two of them. Okay. Is anyone else gonna grab the other one or no? Mm. Um, yeah, I'll grab the um, toad. Okay. Toad one. Okay. It takes to go in exchange and buy it it's in exchange. Are you buying it for yourself or do you want to buy it like as the party thing? Me. As a party. All right. I bought the two light potions for myself for my own gold. Okay, there you go. And it looks a lot of you like healing supplies all running low. And, well, if you do seek a healer, you're going to be hard pressed to find one around here. So, be very careful. And he goes back to his work. That's what I was trying to do, like, a few days ago. I was trying to find out, like, a cleric or something to uh, heal us. Basically, yeah. pay a fair wage to travel around with us. So basically everyone was busy. I have a feeling they're still busy, kinda. Probably. Yep. Egerson may not be the place you may want to try to recruit a healer, but maybe Celerino. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe see if the Bear Bomb Brothers recruited anyone while you were away. Or maybe uh, the pirates have a healer. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> we can charm the shit out of them with our super low rolls. <laughs> Plot twist. The assistant Plot is twist. the healer. The healer is the assistant. <laughs> oh god. That would be so fun. How's everyone doing so far though? Right, Enjoying the show? The everyone is stream. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, let's see. So the caves are a bit more farther, so you guys are basically um checking over what you know what's part of a river, so if you look at the map, that's Basically, where you'll be going. So the abandoned house where you got the the Grimoire for Zempot goes right here. Albers are pretty much more over here. Bro, we have a flying carpet. You guys want to go on the carpet? Hell yeah! Where else? Yeah, do we? I carpet. mean, it's not like we need to go over anything. We're still just. But it's faster than walking, and safer. It's the slowest carpet, though. It's the slowest carpet you got actually. You guys got the slowest carpet. Yeah, it only it only goes like thirty feet the same speed as Volvo. I love Volvo. I actually go faster. I know, but I like, go fifty five. Base speed. You actually go quicker on foot than you do to the air. What? Yep. Because it only goes thirty feet. Fine. It only goes thirty feet. <laughs> like, uh through speed. But you can still ride it, you can ride it alongside them, you wanna do that?
Did you? I'm gonna ride it. Okay. Fuck you guys. So, but basically, uh, in the middle of the group, spread around a bit, um, is a Fenjo riding a magic carpet. Uh, you guys are basically trekking through the forces and making your way from across to from Egerson over to the river. And of course, as you guys, you know, um, make your way towards the area, you can see towards the north, like, ve like it seems like very distant, but you can basically see it. you can see how huge it is. A huge, a big ice wall has pretty much been like emitted, and you can see big snow in the distance. And of course, you know the light rain that accompanies you guys at the moment because it's still in that rainy season. Yeah. Fucking rain. I look over at the ice wall and the snow and say, hmm, it reminds me of home. So, as you guys are making the trek, I'm going to roll how much time has passed. So, actually, uh, hmm, since you guys are new to it, uh, who wants to try to do na navigation? This is a survival roll for this one. Um, survival, the one I'll do it. The survival stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, survival. Eh, Alright, so with your roll, which is actually the bare minimum, I'm going to cut that in half. So it takes you about two hours to get to your destination. Alrighty. So if you would have gotten above 13, it would have just been uh, one hour. So, And if you, of course, failed, that would have been a full four hours. 